Good day, ladies and gents. It's your boy Amari Jackson hosting today. We're actually missing Donnie today, so we're, we've replaced him. And we also have our guest Lily here today. And we're going to be discussing the Great Leap Forward, both the benefits and the consequences. Hey, it's Caleb here. Caleb with the last name of Crawford, I think. All right, yeah. Hello, I'm, I'm Grayson, and I'm going to be supporting the Reds for the sake of our argument. I know it's disappointing, but now we have our, our wonderful guest. Yes, I'm Lily Paget. And um, Lily's the smartest person in here about history, so you know what? <laughs> She's going to be leading this session probably. Yeah. Okay, well, let's jump right in. What's our first uh, question here? Okay, is communism good or bad? Well, pros and cons, of course, on both sides. What would be the best adversity or some someone against it? Who would be the best? <laughs> Come on, we need people to respond. Let's go. Okay. What do we got? Um, communism is not good. Oh, okay. That's a real intelligent argument, but it's not. You know what else is not good? Dirt, but we still got it. You know why? Because it serves a purpose. But communism doesn't serve a purpose. It just kills people. Hey, you, oh, you, it people. just killed people? Excuse me. Pr- production increased significantly. Not at first. At first it, the, the benefits do not outweigh the cons of communism. So that's who your moral compass? The, the dirt be- beneath my feet are the people <laughs> that serve me as leader and monarch of this great and wonderful communist society but because of that dirt you're a greater man as a whole yep they they it hold me the dirt, up it gives the dirt purpose yeah if you weren't standing on top of it it'd be useless exactly okay we uh yeah so what would be the get the best person to fight communism donald trump <laughs> what? okay no to fight communism that man will, that man will take it up with Father Communism himself. What about David Ruckus? <gasps> you know what you're right, <laughs> David. See Trump, Trump will hit him with a wall. Ruckus will hit him with a. Boy, I'm about to roast you. Mm, I, I don't think he did so. Did him more with a. Uh, never mind. Didn't know where I was going with that. Sick joke, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I think he'd go anything anti. Go against. <laughs> he'd anti anti. U.S. anythings. A- anything anti-Republican, asterisk, U.S. things. Yeah, no. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever heard him argue for the liberal side of things, ever. No socialists, no liberals. Not on, not on this uh, ridge. No, no commies. All, no commies. <laughs> no, I don't want. If you're, if you're communist. I don't want to see you around here. However, Sorry. though, but, 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 <laughs> but, but, Porky Pig, but, if we had these commies, we'd be working. Instead of sitting here on a stupid podcast, trying to get cast hours. Yeah, you but know, they tell us what, or, yeah, they tell everyone what to do. And we do it. Yeah, but we, we didn't get any choice in what job we have. Yeah, unless you're on top, you know, then you're on top. Everything is, everything is wonderful. It's more 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 better than anything else. Are you saying it's bad to be on the bottom? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> hey man. Let's keep it. <clears throat> this is uh, family friendly. Even I that's do not, not know what you mean. This is family friendly. This is a Christian channel. All I'm saying is heck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hear man. me out. Hear me out though. Hear me out. If the government didn't put his foot down in order to get everyone. You mean Mr. Ruckus puts his foot down? Yeah. If the con- no. Father, Father Democracy. <laughs> if the leader. If Father Democracy. The communist leader gets a hold of all his people, right? And sure, they don't get to pick what they want to do. However, if they need, like, for example, Mao. Was it Mao? Yeah, it was Mao. So Mao got all his people to, like, he, was, he, looked, he, he went through China. He was looking around. He was like, oh, you know what? These people's got potential. But they're not even doing it. You know what we need to do to catch up to America? We need to increase agriculture and agriculture and industry. So he got his people to do that, straight up, and it made them like they it made them better. It made the country better as a whole. Yes. Not really. Like the Great Leap Forward, which it 
it caused between 18 and 55.6 million deaths. And that's only if, like, people that were alive during it. There's an estimated between, like, 60 and 80,000 babies each year that weren't born because of the famine caused by the policies instituted in the Great Leap Forward. What say you, Omario? I feel like those people were being wimps. Because hear me out. The hey, country as a how whole. About, how would I stick you in a place with no food and you just turn it into a hollowed uh, husk? It's Their food I'm, production I'm pretty sure increased. 90% of the uh, people up. here would like it, that look. It increased it, it, for the people that were in charge. It's like, the, it's like that one meme. If, if I'm sad, it doesn't matter because it benefits so- someone else, which makes the happiness in the entire world go up. Oh, so yes. It's okay. the, the, the total, the total ha- yes. percentage of happiness in the world increased. The suffering of the small make it all better for the whole. So yeah. now you're arguing against your own. No, no, yeah. no, the suffering. No. Well, you said that sarcastically. That was not that sarcastic. That was not sarcastic. That was we are, we are pro commies, pro red. <laughs> I'm wearing all red right now. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon the blood? Okay. <laughs> Got a blue microphone, so it's okay. Neutri- neutrality. 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 Except in communism. Yeah, everything's red. Back, back to communism, right? Yeah. So it caused a lot of people to die, right? What? What? She just what? said 60,000 60, to 80,000 babies a year. Weren't no, born. No, she, al- she also Weren't said born. like it was straight eight, deaths, though. Um, 18 million. The lower okay. end estimates have it at 18 million people, and the upper ones have it at 55.6. Okay, so what benefits could possibly outweigh that destruction of human life? See, hear me out, though. I feel like these people... Couldn't mm. see the bigger picture because they were down and dirty. Because of all their hard work, they made they're making they're preparing a better future for those. What is their hard work? No. Their the, heart it, stopped beating. That's some hard work. But <laughs> in the reference to the Great Leap Forward, it didn't even do anything because communist China experienced two periods of recession, and one of them was caused by the Great Leap Forward. So. Yeah, but aren't they better now? I mean, they're better now than no, they were before. They're not communists anymore. But they're better they're now than they were before. But, okay. <laughs> not really. but what if? If, but if they never became communist, because w- whether or not it was good or bad, it did increase productivity. Oh, so which you're doubting did, yourself now. Oh, I am not Whether or not it was honey. good or bad. Oh, you said, I that am, sounds very indecisive of you there, Mario. I am not being indecisive because whether or not your stance on, let me, I'll rephrase it. Whether or not your stance on this, it was good or bad, you cannot deny the fact that it did increase productivity, no matter, the, which means that the country as a whole would perform better after this point. Yeah, yeah, sure, it increased productivity, but what jobs were increased? Grave diggers? Um, <laughs> and farmers. Farmers. Oh. Farmers, because yeah. they got a lot of dead bodies to fertilize their soil. <laughs> so their so- the soil is fertile, meaning they can grow better plants, crop meaning, plants. Meaning the population could go up because less people, they have more food for the people up on top, which makes them more happy. Making it a better future for those to come. Yeah, and, and hey, didn't you know, we talk about info over there? Yeah, yeah. Well, we that do. was perfect, I think. I don't know if I'm pro-communism yet. All right, so earlier we were talking about how generations, the purpose of life is to help the generations to come. That That's the purpose of the generation. So what they did is they helped their further, the, the, their, not ancestors, the people after whatever, the descendants. Future, future generations. Yeah, yeah, I better use that word. So they helped them by suffering now. So they suffer now so that they could get through th- better later. That's what high school and college are, suffering now so things can be better later. So you're comparing a few years' worth of uh, Torture? primary and secondary education to millions of people dying so that future generations may have less, l- A, less diverse genes because that gene pool has been reduced dramatically. They have... Uh, less people to work despite having an increase in employment that's because the overall population went down however that is also due to the fact that people as she stated stop having childbirth now i believe this is due to false propaganda such as the ones you're spitting against my communism but that fear like you can't just play this (laughs) off as fake news there buddy i'm sorry but hear me out though like even now a lot of people don't know what's going on in our government, but they still take sides. They still have stances. However, they don't truly know what's going on. So they're not knowledgeable about what's go- truly going on and what's the true intentions. They just think that they are, and they take t- stances based off of that and not true. So if these people didn't understand what's going on and some, someone told them something false, they would simply believe it and not have children because of that fear no, and that decreased I'm saying fate. when I say between 60 and 80,000 babies, I don't mean like they chose not to have them, like – 
they were pregnant and then they had like late term miscarriages because they were dying. Omari? <laughs> <clears throat> Are you sure about that? Where's your fact check? Um, <laughs> you I have sure? to find it again, but I did it when I was doing research. I think I have it in my sources, but I have to. I don't um, have any service right here. Okay, so the reason is that <laughs> I just don't. I think I feel like because of the the, the bad times that they were in, they got depressed and due to the depression, it caused them to not want to eat. Okay, hold up. Hold but up. that cannot be controlled. So they, you know, it, it's not their fault. It's just because of the hard times that they had to go through. They got depressed. They didn't want to eat, and being malnourished caused the children to die. However, that's because they couldn't see the future that was to come, the brighter future. Well, okay. Um, at least, like, in in capitalist countries, for the most part, you have the ability to have an opinion on that, like, whether or not you think it's um, right or whether or not you're going to buy into the propaganda or whatever. However, part of the... Um, Great Leap Forward was it was called a thousand a hundred flowers the hundred flowers campaign which Mao Zedong encouraged people to speak their mind about political issues so he can make a giant list of them and kill them through a method called what is it called um, struggle sessions where they would where he would have the public throw things at you and yell mean stuff at you which drove people to suicide which doesn't sound that bad but it was like really bad because it was psychological torture. Okay. Um, so, see, the thing about this is it's going to get dark really quickly, but... We already talked about 56 million people dying. I don't think it can get uh, No, it, it can darker. get more dark. See, the purpose of those people dying, those babies, and, see, we have to take a positive outlook as communists. We have to take a positive outlook on everything. They were trying to prevent them from suffering. They were all poor. Oh, so if they're yeah. dead, they can't suffer, right? Yeah. I mean, partially oh. they were trying to prevent them well. from suffering, but that's because they were living. Oh, that makes that makes perfect sense when they're starving heck. to death. However, there you go. But are you considering the bright future ahead of them? I mean, they the were bright the future ride. without communism. Whoa! Because of communism? No, not because of it. They said, "Whoa, whoa, we're killing one one too many of our comrades over here. Maybe I should listen to Mr. Ruckus and not use communism." Hmm? I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of the North Korea curfew right now. It's it's pretty nice. They have no lights at all. It's always curfew. Oh, you know, sometimes the lights distract me. I can I can agree with that. You know, yeah, living pollution. in total darkness, poverty. That sounds pretty good. Wouldn't that make you want to work harder to bring the lights back? <laughs> <laughs> Communism. O- Omari's a half glass full kind of guy. Hey, man. <laughs> The commies, they, they had a good thing going for them. I mean, inside these little, basically kind of, uh, I can't remember the term, a ghetto. Like, you know how the Jews had the ghettos? They kind of had something similar to that. Everyone shared everything. So while you can see, um, I mean, those who were suffering pre-communism got a better life because of that. They now have access to tools they didn't have access to before. Because, for example, if like you owned, if you own <laughs> any kind of tools you know, death. or animals or anything... Then that becomes shared to the public. Now everyone has access to the things of, of the so disease variety. Those that is incorrect. <laughs> that, is, that is false. Where is your okay? What is on. your information to bring that up? Hold up. How hey many man, people I got a whole did we document say? Document over here. No, no, no. There's missing persons files in the United States right now, and we're capitalists. Didn't I say it was twenty thousand last episode? Yeah, but that's different than fifty-five point six million people. Yeah, yeah but at least we knew where they were. Hold up, hold up. Twenty thousand <laughs> and growing each year. Yeah. Now sixty thousand and eighty thousand is a lot, but yeah. the population is also going up, which means we're gonna have a population crisis now. If communism was here, we wouldn't have yeah. that population crisis, okay. which means there wouldn't be starving for we're, every. We're not having a population crisis not in yet. capitalist countries. The not population yet. crisis is occurring in like China. And India, wait, which wait, is wait, way wait, above wait. carrying capacity. Pop- population is going up, wait, which means that's a benefit in China, well, which was communist, which means after communism, no, the population rise rose it, altogether. It's, it's killing. The, whenever you see things and it says peop- there's too many people on Earth and it's killing the environment, that's not talking about Denmark or the United States or Japan. That's talking about China because there's nearly 2 billion Cause, cause people. You know why we have so many people? Because we are great. We are a great nation. Our communism birthed this fertility. 
Did you just call yourself Chinese? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. You are an American I mean, high school student who goes to Lake Wales High School in the middle of rural Florida. I mean, <laughs> check your privilege. I mean, I mean, us commies. Yeah, us commies. We we birth. Is this like a is this like a club or a cult? Us commies. Us commies. Sure, yeah. sounds like we a do cult. us. Now hear me out though. So like, Karl think Marx. about like the un the unemployment rate in America right now. Like it's so low. Under communism, everyone would be working because they because don't have a choice. Exactly, and they have a lower population yeah, but, due but to starvation. Think about, this. think about this. Capitalism is a system that makes people allowed to fail. That is the that is the basis of communism. People have to fail. You won't have, you know, your burger flippers in commun. You'll have them in communism, but they won't have a choice otherwise. There's Areas where if capi- capitalism was 100% perfect, that everyone would become doctors and lawyers or whatever. And that would cause another crisis because who's going to – I know it sounds sad, but who's going to do the fruit picking or the, the industrial jobs, the factory working? It's not going to be the rich people because they don't want to do it. Capitalism gives too much choice. Exactly. That's the problem. Without communism, you, you have – this issue but too much communism and too much capitalism are both bad you need that mix in between to have a perfect society and, and that's impossible and but this how I, I thought I you were arguing up. for communism here's, we are neutral. here's what I want to bring up oh, Mao okay. before instituting this communistic approach he went through China he saw what they needed help in and specifically targeted those areas he noticed they were lacking in industry and agriculture and specifically chose to rise up those specific areas so communism as a whole isn't just you know it's not going to be that bad. We're going to, for example, we would view America, look at it as a whole, see where we need to improve, and focus our attention there. Okay, but communist, communist China, sure, it made improvements in agriculture and stuff, but at the cost of 56 or however million people dead. So, you sure, you improved that may agriculture. That have been the cost. I can, the- I can get straight, a, or I can, uh, hold on, let me f- figure out a better thing. Like... Sure, I can get straight A's in school, but at the cost of my sleep, right? And then I'm up, and then my total health declines, and then I have to go to the hospital because of my degenerative brain. True, true. but if you push through, if you come through, which is likely because... No, no, no. It, no, it, no oh, it's, it's likely. likely. Due to lack of sleep, you can push through that. Your future will be better because of those straight A's. Okay, but, because but, of but, but, the, but the analogy doesn't work in the reverse because you can't push through death, huh? If you're dead, you can't. Wake right up, push right through, what, log back in. What's the point of working towards the future if in order to do so, you have to forget your past? Everything you had to work for was going to be forgotten. Oh, your traditions, on. your festivals, your holidays, your religion. Okay, talking about that, you know, that sounds a lot like Christianity. Christianity is a religion that goes into believing um, forgiveness for your sins, but in the end, you, you experience all this stuff, but there's some denominations that believe that you forget everything, meaning the only purpose was to be chosen. Does that make it predestination no matter what, or is that because it's just looking for the, the pure choices? But if, if it's just you're going to forget everything, then you're going to make the same mistakes you did afterwards unless it's the perfect being, you know. Stuff like Wait, that. What are you and talking about? Forgetting everything to do what? To 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 enter heaven. Okay. And Wait. And not only that, I mean, you you're saying like a lot of people have died. However, those who survived will be a lot strong. Like they'll, those, they'll basically be the strong who survived. You basically called the weak, and now when you re-expand, when that population regrows, they will be stronger. So what you're arguing for is an ethnic cleansing. <laughs> Ethnic. So, Whoa, that is not what I said. So you're, you're twisting you're my words, is, sir. So what you, what you, fallacy. Hey, no, no. What you are saying is, how about we just kill off all of a oh, whole? This is for a podcast. I do not act. This is a PSA. I don't actually believe in this. What you're saying, actually, this is what Omari is not believe. Never mind. I digress. What you're saying is, is that we should kill off, just erase the genes of disabled people. From our population, that is incorrect. What I'm no, no, saying no, no. What is, are you saying then? If that happens, you see, to no. Happen, specifically, I will quote, quote you. Cold I, s- I said, the weak. What happens when those millions of people die is that the strong would still survive. Thus, it would be calling the weak. That doesn't have to happen, but if it does happen, it would still be a benefit in the Oops. future. 
oops, I accidentally I dropped accidentally some boiling made water my on my cat. Oops. Civilization stronger. oops, I accidentally so killed bad. 56 so million dead or dead people because they're you're, weak. You're you implying that those people, people, some of not all people died from starvation. Some of them had legitimate political views that went against the communist regime in China, which led to their death. Because of the, those political like outcasts, they would cause fear. They would spread doubters. Or, and that would decrease productivity. Or, that would that would be the complete opposite of what we're trying to gain. Or they would stop people from dying. Would they? I, I mean... It would have a larger impact on people defying communism, thus decreasing productivity, which is the whole goal. When, when I say 18 to 55.6 million people, that's how many people died. I'm not saying those are people that died of natural causes. Those are people that died because they're not supposed to die. Like uh, starvation or whatever. And I doubt that that many people each year was dying in the United States because they had different political views. Everyone dies. Why does it Great matter? observation. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it matter? It, it, it shouldn't. If, if they're benefiting the generations to come, it shouldn't matter how they die in the end as the, the populace as a whole has benefited from it. So how about we do a huge hunger game? like a Hunger Games in the United States, right, where women are pitted against women and men are pitted against men until we have the alpha male and the alpha female. How about that? Does that, does that help if, our, if our it genome? Helps, if it helps keep the illusion that people should keep working and that progress will still go on, then... I don't, I don't think people dying all around you is very motivating. It, it, fear is a motivating thing, and fear is a very <laughs> useful tool. But... To what extent did this However, actually help? You guys seem to be focusing a lot on emotion, and that again births doubters. No, no, no. Free. We don't have emotion. We have numbers. Fifty-six <laughs> million people, man. You just said that's not that emotion. I don't think people are dying around you would increase motive. Uh, no, no, no. That's what motivation. Grayson brought up. He brought up motivation to keep working. Oh, I'm talking about the fifty-six million dead people. We need to spit on the non-believers. <laughs> spit on them. <laughs> spit on them, my brothers. <laughs> Communism is the only one. Those way. 56 million people set their people on a better path. Their tombstones I'm gonna, I'm are gonna, the I'm going to kill you. If you try hey, to set hey, them up. I'm going to kill you, and then I'll have... Be- that'll give me better odds of succeeding, right? Okay, however, if it's super hard for you to, to be kill a brawl? me... If it's super hard for I'm you to kill me, <laughs> that means you would gain new fighting skills to defend hey man, yourself. this was with. a joke. That means my death would benefit you. Don't try me, son. It's all about that meme. This is just a joke. This is podcast. <laughs> and everybody... <laughs> it benefits people as a whole. So basically, we're talking about like, like bad things happening to the few to benefit the whole, right? See, si. and so you're saying 56 million people—that's a minority. No, they were the Pepsi drinkers. We we kill Pepsi drinkers. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, he, he just, he just abandoned podcast. his argument. That wasn't that was that's an advertisement. <laughs> if you are listening to this podcast, podcast, please tune into the Christmas special that, oh, yeah, that, that was, was released in January uh, of 2018. <laughs> Christmas special, please, please listen. From January twenty eighth. All right, we're done plugging. Back to communism. Yeah, okay. And since you want to bring up facts, we'll bring up facts right now. Those fifty, those fifty six million people did die, but their population now in China is higher than it's ever been. Like it's growing. Therefore, those deaths. What what causality do you have to blame that to communism? Why can't you blame that to the new government that they reinstated? Why why is that not the cause of the population growth? Because it's it's been brought up in many multiple ways that the actions of the ancestors have affected your lives now well let's use occam's razor here all right the 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 answer to a problem is always well not always but most likely the one with the least amount of assumptions so what takes more assumptions uh china being uh, the leader in world population now is because of 56 million people dying or it's because of a better government that focuses less on communism and more on, you know, people not dying. Oh, wait, hold on. So since more people died in China, are Nazi jokes not as bad now? Oh <laughs> I don't think... I <laughs> Making jokes about any people dying, I don't think that's that's so good. Uh, tell that to Logan Paul. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. But you can't argue that the death of 56 million people caused the population increase because India didn't kill 56 million people and they're going to overtake China in population. 
Oh my god. However, the pop hear me out. The fifty six million people did die. Therefore, the population is growing. Determinism. If those things did not happen in the past, it would change the future. And to Caleb was saying that you should go with the least arguments with, of assumptions. I mean, you're basically saying if those 56 million people die, you're assuming that the population wouldn't have grown. What if, yeah, yeah, that's usually what happens when uh, there's a loss. It doesn't really grow. Are you sure about that? Stock market. Well, okay. Bitcoin. Let me hit you with okay, this. Okay, so, you're, so I, I have two cats. Right? I have two cats. Uh... Kill one cat. Does that mean I have two cats or three cats? Or no? Is that not how subtraction works? Well, it depends. If you add them first and then subtract them, so you sub you add them, subtract one, so they they breed. You subtract one of them. Now you have a pregnant me meow meow, and you take pregnant <laughs> meow meow, and out come more meow meows, which means yes, it does benefit. Okay, wait, hear me no, out, no, Caleb. No, I'm saying, dude, we're talking about loss. No. If I have two people, I kill one people, how many people do I have? You have one, one people. people. <laughs> okay, but let's put it into real... That sounds great on paper, but let's put it into a true perspective. That sounds okay. great on paper. I want to hear, um, hear what you're saying. It's just math. So you're saying if those 56 million people died, didn't didn't die, and we abandoned no, communism... No, I said they did die. I know, I know. I'm, hear me. I'm, are you saying that if those 56 million people didn't die, and that communism never happened, that the country would have been better as a whole? Yes. But what if... Population staying that high and continuously growing actually contributed to the end of China due to overpopulation earlier on. Well, popula overpopulation can never contribute to the end because people will simply leave it. And that wait. doesn't that doesn't lead to death, right? They'll well, that logic, leave. overpopulation should be a problem now because people can just leave it. China, China is a perfect actually example. that argument was pretty bad. Ignore that one. <laughs> China is actually a pretty good example to go against that argument. So they have too much, which means. Getting rid of things will actually add to the gain because they don't have starving people. So we should just kill people now? Well, not not, mm. 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 not mm. kill people, but prevent people from having... So let's nope. look at Japan let's for an example. They're not having a high birth rate, right? They're having less children. And that's, you know, that's fine, right? So we can do that instead. But what happens if you don't have a choice? And instead of not having children, you simply kill over due to... Uh, starvation. Good or bad? Communism equals bad. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a very... Okay, 100% capitalism is not good. So that's not right. 100% communism is not good. That's so not right. we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, boys. It seems like we both have our arguments pretty pretty well developed. Also, Lily. Lily's not a boy. She's a female. However, <laughs> and, all right. Let's, assuming her gender. Yes, yeah, so let's go it's around funny. with our closing statements. I truly believe that communism was extremely beneficial as a whole due to the increase in due to the due to the increase in productivity <laughs> and the fact that it set China Mr. Ruckus <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it set China on a better path for its future. Oh, um all right. Um my closing statement is that communism is the scourge scourge of the earth and that people who practice communism are the bringer of end times uh, that's very opinionated you you a sound opinionated opinionated, opinionated. stay over there mm -hmm. communist boy <laughs> all right drinker <laughs> you, you sound like a conquo fearing the white people they're bad because i say they're bad <laughs> they're bad because they killed 56 million people so did the white christians but yeah christians are very fine no Crusades. no no hey hey shh Quiet. A conquo hung himself after he killed someone. Let's just end it there. Crusades. So let's, Crusades. let's see. Yes, but Christianity's different. We got a lot of followers here in Polk County. Boys, boys, we boys. Too into it. That's a that's, that's topic for another podcast. Yeah, exactly. Closing statements. Closing so statements. closing statement to rebut. Actually, I can't rebuttal. What do we got? Last closing okay, statement. Hold up. My closing statement, we should all just have anarchy. The end. All right, Lily's statement. Okay. Um, but in regards to, like, the Crusades, that killed 1.7 million people. Hey, man. That's not... Yep. Yeah, communism, not but crusades. No, it's not just crusades, though. I mean, yeah, Christians... But you're uh, using the crusades as, like, a specific example. This is one example of communism that killed 56 people. 56 million people. And and yet China is still fine. China is not fine. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're actually better than fine. They're, they have too many things. Too much. Yeah. Yeah, they, too they much is bad, too. Overflow. Bad leads to bad, am I right? <laughs> yeah. right? Good good leads to bad, which leads to bad, which leads to good. Yeah. And that's yeah. life. 
Yeah. Communism is bad because it might spur innovation for a little while. However, in order to do so, and it's not even significant gains, you have it comes at the cost of your people and your culture. All right, we'll be logging out soon. Uh, just wanna, Lily did very well today considering she is the most knowledgeable person here and had so many facts. And I just want to point out, me and Grace do not truly support communism. Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, don't hate us. Don't attack us. <laughs> See you later.